DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service provided by Amazon Web Services. And a few of the things that it can do very well are fast, predictable performance and the ability to automatically scale because it's a serverless technology. So this really makes it a powerful way to build stuff very quickly. And the main components of DynamoDB are tables, items, and attributes. If we go through and define those really quick, a table is a collection of items, and each item is a collection of attributes. And a table, one of the ways I like to think about it is it's a little bit like a fancier version of a spreadsheet or Google Sheets, et cetera, but you have the ability to programmatically control it. DynamoDB also stores data in partitions, and a partition is an allocation of storage for a table, and the partitions automatically scale up or down as the data storage needs change. And so this makes it a very fast performance uh, type system. Also, Dynamo supports two modes. There's a document mode and a key value uh, mode here. And with that, uh, if you look at a document mode, it's made of key value pairs. And then in the key value model, each item has a primary key, but can have any number of attributes. And also Dynamo supports a couple different kinds of primary keys, a partition key and a composite key, which would be a partition key plus a sort key. And that partition key splits the data across partitions and distributes the workload. So really in a nutshell, Dynamo provides fast querying for primary keys through this partition parallelism, and it can query partitions simultaneously as well, which also makes rapid performance possible and Dynamo is gonna charge you on what you use. So some of the key capabilities for the enterprise include built-in security, in-memory caching, data replication across availability zones, and also integration with AWS services. A few of the things I really like about Dynamo are that you can talk to it from the command line, uh, which is very powerful. So you can open up a cloud shell and just start talking to it, or you can also get into the console, start using it that way, or finally you can use multiple languages like Rust or Python to talk to Dynamo in a programmatic fashion.